guys welcome back to the ovens garage today i'm going to be installing a hvlp lift pump into old blue so it's a high volume low pressure piston lift pump um, to replace the stock lift pump i know there's a couple videos out there already i know um, tim from decent garage has already done a video but um, i like making <laughs> the videos and for everything that i do all my projects so um, you know different video different angle so might as well might as well make another video so here i got this lift pump actually not directly from um the hungry diesel but that's where i would recommend ordering them i got this used off of a guy who ordered it uh from the hungry diesel but he ended up selling it because he wasn't going to install it um so it comes with a pump there's a spacer two gaskets a line um and then new uh o-ring washers for the uh end of the eye on the line here so I'm going to go to Old Blue, we'll pull off the old one, clean up the mating surface, install this one. you got to remove a little bit of insulation on the block um, that comes from the factory on the first gen 12-valve uh, trucks. I cut it out just with a, just with a knife really, and then um, install the new pump. So the uh, factory pumps, factory lift pumps on the first gens run about 3 to 5 PSI, and apparently these ones uh, run about 15 PSI, and I'll show you with my fuel pressure gauge in the truck, and um, it's recommended that you don't run any higher pressure than that because it starts to blow the, the seals in the front of the VE pump, um, which could be a bad situation. So, you know, this is kind of designed perfectly uh, to, to work in the, the VE pump trucks, so, you know, it comes as a complete kit. And it's super easy to install. I've got the same one in my red truck, and I've had it in there for really since I bought it brand new. Um, so seven years, and I've never had an issue with it. So this will be a nice little upgrade. I don't think you really notice too much of a power difference, let's say. But um, the, the difference that it makes is that your fuel is always going to be there when you need it. So especially as you're doing upgrades down the road for, you know, on the power side, you always want your, your fuel to be there. And you always want your fuel pressure to be there. So this is a, you know... A good upgrade that'll give you consistent um, results from the fuel side. All right, so just to give you a baseline here, um, before we change the uh, lift pump, uh, it's the second gauge in here. We'll see what uh, at idle it is at startup. Let them start up, and looks like we're running about four psi. Right there, four to five psi. All right, so here's the stock lift pump and the fuel line just comes up here with a quick disconnect fitting. You've got to push in these two plastic um, tabs on the, the white plastic tabs on the inside there, and then you can pull that straight off. Then we'll disconnect the fuel line just at the top here and then remove these two bolts on the side and then we can pull the, the entire pump off. <laughs> Okay, so now that we've got the old pump off of the truck, uh, we want to take this quick disconnect fitting and put it onto the new pump. So take that guy and then just put it over onto uh, this guy here. I'm just going to throw a bit of Permatex thread sealant onto the threads here uh, before I install it into the new pump. Alright, so I've got the new fitting installed there with a little bit of thread sealant as well as um, just this loose fitted, um, this hose loose fitted onto the pump. All right, at this point, we've got the pump off and I need to clean up the mating surface. So I've just put a blue shop towel in here uh, just to catch any debris because this goes in right to the camshaft. So I'll take a flat bladed uh, wide screwdriver, scrape off the mating surface and clean it up as best as I can before I uh, put the new pump on. Okay, so just above the fuel pump, um, I've got to remove the insulation. So I'm going to take a sharp knife and uh, just try and cut away at that insulation directly above uh, the mating surface there. All right, so at this point, I think I have most of the insulation out of the way. Pull my paper towel out of there and get the pump in there with a spacer to test fit it. Okay, so the bolts that go into the block for the fuel pump are tightened to 18 foot-pounds or 216 inch-pounds. I'm gonna use my inch-pound torque wrench and come in through the fire or the uh, fender well. Okay, so I'm gonna get my banjo bolt started with my new um, O-ring washers. Um, so I'm gonna put one on 
go through the top of my line, put the other washer on, and then into the block. Right in the um, fuel line at the fuel pump end. Just snug it down as well. Okay, now um, put the quick connect back on to uh, the fitting that you transferred over. Let's make sure that plastic's lined up. There we go. And then uh, at this point we can bleed the air out of the fuel system. So up at the top there should be a 10 millimeter screw if you don't have a fuel gauge in there that you can just crack open and then just push this um, in a bunch of times until fuel spurts out and then tighten it back up. But in this case, um, I've got a fuel gauge here so I'll show you what mine looks like. Okay, so I'm just gonna crack the uh, banjo bolt up here where my fuel pressure gauge is. I'm just gonna disconnect this, crack it. There we go, that's good enough. All right, so at this point, our uh, new HVLP lift pump is installed. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is go in the truck, start it. I'll come back out here, check for leaks. And if I don't have any leaks anywhere, um, I'll go and check my fuel pressure and see what my new uh, fuel, running fuel pressure is. All right, so we're back in the truck here. I've checked for leaks, there's no leaks. And it looks like our idling uh, fuel pressure here is 11, 12, 13 PSI, uh, just about right on the nose. So um, I'll go for a little bit of a test drive and see what it is running down the road. I don't expect it to change too much, but um, I'm, I'm guessing this uh, pressure range in this pump is about 13 to 15 PSI is what I've read or been told. All right, so that concludes the install of the HVLP lift pump for Old Blue. Uh, we went for a little test drive and it stayed pretty consistent between 13 to 15 PSI. Uh, so hopefully this video helps if you're looking to install a HVLP lift pump in your first gym. Cheers, thanks for watching guys.